Good day, welcome to Vaughn TV. I'm Michael G. Bonitaribus. Today we got a special edition on plug-in electric cars. In the next five to 10 years, over 400,000 electric cars will be on the road. We're gonna talk about how Eaton is being one of the leaders in implementing these charging stations, which everyone's gonna need from your garage to the infrastructure that's gonna be in place that we're gonna talk about. Pat, Brian, we're gonna get more into it. Pat, by the way, let's start off with you. What do we got here today? Yeah, thanks, Mike. Uh, what we got here today are level one, level two chargers. We've got the uh, charger for someone's garage. Mm -hmm. so Residential applications. Residential type mm -hmm. applications. And we also have ones that we're using in residential applications, but it's more commercially suited right now. Okay. Uh, the differences between the two of them are such that uh, this is uh, meant for homes because it can have a home area network connection. Uh, and it's really limited to the uh, level one, either at uh, eight amps, 12 amps, or level two, which is 24 amp charging at either the 120 volt mm -hmm. as a plug-in uh, dedicated circuit or a dedicated 30 amp circuit that, that's hardwired into the unit itself. 100 amp service in your house? 100 amp fine service in your house for something like this mm -hmm. is, is more than fine. good enough. I, uh, what's the charging time for one of these? Well, it depends on the car, depends yep. on the battery, but in general terms, we're talking about 24 hours for a level one, because mm -hmm. that's the lowest level. Yep. Level two at 240 volts, uh, is going to be between 8 and 12 hours, okay. uh, once again, depending on the car and the, the battery management system. So this will do there. both depending on how you, how you configure it? Yes. Okay. Uh, same thing for this unit, mm -hmm. does level 1, level 2, uh, but it also has the capability... Uh, that looks like it has much more yeah, juice. Uh, it, not only that, but it has more capabilities as mm -hmm. far as commercial applications. So we can go up to 70 amps with this unit, and we can embed things like keypads, RFID, uh, card swipes, um, the kinds of things that you would find more in a commercial or yeah. a, a fleet uh, vehicle type application. More advanced features. Yeah, absolutely. Now, let's more talk about features. the connection. Yep. Now, before we talk about the connection, a lot of people with electric cars, um, I think they worry about the whole plug-in. Is it safe? You know, like absolutely. a wife, she comes home, she plugs it in, she's stepping in water, like the whole electric thing. That's the whole idea between the two of them. What we're doing is we're taking our intelligence that we've developed over the years mm -hmm. in industrial world and people protection world because we do residential products mm -hmm. and ground fault protection, making sure that it's got all the diagnostics in there. It doesn't matter whether it's the, the residential yep, version or the, the commercial version. Yep. And they come home at the end of each day, they just plug it in. This is like the connector that's on the side of the car. That's it. And they walk away from it. And, and, and in the morning, they have a charged up car. And the car will automatically know how it does its what own. the battery level is and automatically go from there. That's absolutely correct. Okay. Yep. Now, what's the standard? Because apparently I heard there's a standard for charging for these, yep. for these plugs. Okay, this is called a J1772 plug. Okay. Okay. And that. that's what you're going to see in the industry as far as the, the level one, level two chargers. Mm -hmm. Right? Uh, there will be uh, eventually a quicker charge, which is uh, either could be a level two at 150 amps or it could even be uh, a level three. And that's direct to the battery. But the standards have not really emerged uh, as far as that's concerned yet. Okay. At least not here in North America. But regardless, if you buy, I know the GM Volt's coming out this summer. Tesla's coming out with an awesome Model S. Mitsubishi's in the market. Uh, you said the Nissan Leaf. Yeah. They're all using the same same connector. It's huge. Yes, that that's exactly the this is throughout. the standard. Okay. It's an SAE or Society of Automotive Engineers standard. Awesome. Brian, what else do you have to add? Well, basically, as you know, Eaton has uh, been an electrical uh, manufacturer for many years, over 100 years now. We're celebrating our 100th yeah. year anniversary. Yeah, they're well known on the market. Yes. And in the last few years, we've purchased companies like uh, Marine Power. Mm -hmm. So we have Marine Lighting and Power. We've uh, got into the UPS with the purchase of Powerware. Uh, in the two years ago, we purchased uh, Moeller. So we had the loose components from Moeller. And uh, then we, in the last year, we purchased Copper Logic. So we've got the enclosed version of the uh, XD contactors now are, uh, available. Uh, from there, there's been Phoenix Tech, which was uh, just purchased for inverters for our solar, because we're getting heavily into solar and wind power. Well, so solar. you guys are doing electric cars, you guys are getting the solar, you're getting into wind. That's so you guys are... You alternative guys are, energies, yeah, you guys are being emerging technologies. Yes. You got it. Okay. Right. And now we're actually going to link up uh, the website for Eaton, so, so people want to know more about Eaton and what's yeah. going on with you guys? Yeah. Okay. And um, for the installation of this, we also mentioned something about the uh, ECCN program, uh, which is the Eaton Certified uh, Contractor Network, Contractor Network. Which I'm actually, this is a good point you bring up, because in order to install these now, 
Who's installing this stuff? We're training the uh, ECCN contractor okay. to go out, survey the house to make sure the, uh, the panel is large enough and there's enough circuit capacity left over that they can install the 30 amp breaker that they'll require or the 70 amp breaker. Yep. Um, they will be the ones that will be out there certifying it. Okay, so if contractors are watching, we're going to link it up. The E, I know I see. ECCN. ECCN. Okay, so we're going to have more information on that so they can learn how they can register. Yeah, they can come to Vaughan and, and you can have them registered under the, the program. It's a really good training program and it is aimed around the, the residential part of the marketplace, but we are certifying contractors for the uh, commercial installations. Of and the once traders. they become a certified contractor, the Eaton certified contractor, they're actually listed on your website as well, right? Absolutely. So they get yeah. the, the full package. Yeah, there is a, it's, there's a, it's a one day training session that they come into our location. The third party that comes in does the training for half of the day. Uh, then they also are trained on like surge products, which is heavily in the uh, yeah. residential. Well, many well. people, they don't know, if you, if, you don't need, if you don't know Eaton, many people have the panels in their house, the surge protection, it's all there, the arc faults. That's correct. Yeah. So, yeah, and uh, so then once the uh, contractor is signed up, if there is work in that area that we require, um, they're on our website. Uh, people can look on our website and contact the, contact the contractor. Directly. Awesome stuff, guys. Awesome stuff. Pat, hey. thanks for coming. Mike, Brian, thank you. thanks for coming. Guys, in my personal opinion, and I think many in the industry are predicting the next five to ten years is going to be electric cars, right? The way gas prices are going, zero emissions. Absolutely. Um, kilometer wise, just on electric cars, I know the Mitsubishi, you're getting about 100 kilometers. Yeah. Um, Tesla, you're getting up to almost 500 kilometers. So they are, the, the technology is there basically, yeah. right? I know they're improving, it's still new, but I think by the time five, five to 10 years comes, the infrastructure is going to be ready. Um, especially, like I said, the way gas prices are going, um, electric cars are going to be the wave of the future. Yeah, the electrical manufacturers behind it, the automotive manufacturers behind it, and uh, we got the critical mass to move this forward. To, to the consumers now. So uh, we're there to support not only the, the low level infrastructure, but also uh, the stuff that we do with Vaughn, which is for the, uh, the utilities, uh, the, whole, the industry, the whole, the whole distribution whole network. Yeah. You got it. Awesome stuff, guys. Okay. Guys, like I said, we're going to have all this information on the website. I'm Michael G. Bonitatibus, introducing you to the world of electrical distributors.